Hello everybody, welcome back. Here we are again. Uh, decent hand. I have colors, I have wastelands, I have a way to interact with anything he does on turn one as far as creatures go. Uh, I'm going to keep this. My opponent's mulligan to six, so yeah. Let's see if he uh, goes to five. This is again another practice room game. If you're wondering how I'm deciding to do these, I'm... Ooh, Thoughtseize. I'm assuming he's Reanimator right now. Um, I am actually queuing up a match in the tournament practice room and then entering the two-man queue after I put it off to the side. You know, you shrink thing. You can If you set your match over to the side, it doesn't actually exit out for you. Uh, he took the bob, which... Irony. Let's go back a turn, friend. Moles to fours. So, okay. That's why it didn't bother him so much. Uh, I'm going to pop this one down. He's probably like an Esper-ish control deck at this point, just from the look of things. Uh, should have actually fetched at end of turn. I have enough lands, and they're not exactly what I'm thinking and being afraid for. Uh, we're going to drop this Bob down, and we'll see what he does. Nothing! He could still just be a show-and-tell deck or pretty much anything at this point. I've seen Show and Tells run black. Uh, he could still be Reanimator. I'd like it if he wasn't, but I mean, I understand if he is. I don't really have anything to, to battle against a turn two Gristlebrand or turn three. Okay, so black, white, and blue. Okay, control deck. Snapcaster going for Thoughtseize. Fair enough. Into the basics he buys. He bangs. But he leaves me with that one. Not exactly sure I would leave me with that one. Uh, I am just going to go for the, the Liliana of the Veil. So take this Scrubland. Should really be getting basics, by the way. When you can get basics, when you can't, it's kind of rough. So... Uh, he may be playing a Jace this turn, in which case I can understand, and I'm not really that grateful to see a Jace, but I can, I can, okay, no Jace. I can, to I can stomach it, there we go, I was going to say I could toilet it, but that's the entirely wrong way of saying that. I could stomach a Jace. A Jace wouldn't be the end of the world. It wouldn't be happiness in a can, but it wouldn't be the absolute end of the world. Uh, looks like I do have a Wasteland target now, and I have enough lands to do everything except for Batter Skull. So... What you getting? He's getting his batter skull. Well, that's perfectly fine. That's not really going to matter all that much. So we get a knight. Let's go ahead, pop the wasteland. Hit the swords. Force a discard. And we will be able to swing and look next turn. All right. Don't really care about his exile cards. So, end of his turn, we get to look. Uh, we have a knight. We'll have a sacrifice effect on Liliana. If we see a second Liliana, we will edict him if, if we can and go from there. Uh, this hand turned out to be really, really, really good against his six. So, I mean, I can't be too mad at that. Or was it? Yeah, it was six. Um, additionally, he kind of was a little bit stuck. I don't think he wanted to have the lands that he had. Uh, there's Engineered Explosives. Explosives at three. Do we have a way to deal with that right now? No. But you know what? I actually am willing to take the couple cards in his hand. And then play a Bob. Can't play the Knight right now. So. We'll just amass... M okay. That would have been what we see... So we would hit one, two with Bob's, hit the Lingering Souls. The next turn, been in a little bit more pain. All right, so we're looking at an Esper Control deck with Stoneforge Mystics. Let's actually get this down here. Not so big a heavy thing on that. This is actually supposed to be in the, the main. I did switch these back to normal, um, but I, have, I had to put them back after I realized that I didn't save it. So I couldn't save it and continue on. Uh, I will be actually bringing in this entire discard packet. Hmm. Huh. 
interesting idea. Maybe we just go as this because he's more of the control and then on the draw we'll bring in the disc or on the play we'll bring in the discard package so and this is actually pretty good we know that he's got Stoneforge Mystics and even though I don't want to get caught behind him yeah I don't want to get caught behind him never mind I'm just gonna do this on the first turn uh, typically uh, maybe not um, <laughs> if he's got his own Stoneforge okay he doesn't so Let's actually do this, 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 and this. Uh, he's got a pretty bad hand. Looks like our hands are pretty similar. Except for I got one more land. And an abrupt decay. Should have fetched out a scrub land. That would have made more sense. Well, I should probably be fetching. Yeah, definitely. I'm going to be fetching basics. Uh, he could easily be playing like back to basics right here. Although it's not a huge threat right now. Um, so what are we getting? Basic. We're going to get basic forest. And let's just deal with this right now. So he's got three lands and, a, and that. Two lands and that. Um, should probably be bogging him just because he does play Snapcaster Mage and there is an option in there all of the toys uh, my hope is that he did not get okay he got a Lingering Souls good thing I got that bog Go ahead and pop this. Go get the swamp. And cut down on those. Thinking, yeah, this is actually a pretty decent idea here. I'm going to start going after his hand as well. Discard. I should have done this first. So, land batter skull is what he's got. He'll be able to attack for two. Uh, my hope is that I actually draw, I didn't realize he had these by the way, um, that I actually draw something useful here. He's got one card in hand. We're gonna have one card in hand. Hopefully this all works out for the best. That is definitely a way to work out for the best. Uh, if I do this, what do we get? Well, let's do this portion first. So I can Edict him. He'll lose a token creature. I should have made him discard. I've got a Lingering Souls in hand. Although this portion of the, of the game is going to be boring. Well, look at that. Looks like I made the better choice. It was most likely this that was in his hand. So. Yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll do that. Yep, re-equipping. So there he goes. Here I go. Uh, I should be fetching at some point here. Yeah, I think I should have made four tokens. Looks like it's being a boring game on our parts. And I would say I'm sorry, but that's sometimes magic. Sometimes it is just kind of a stare off. Um, I am gonna keep this in hand. The reason I'm gonna keep it in hand is because it makes more sense that way. Uh, if he gets more discard, he'll actually start going for it. There's nothing that I actually need the additional mana for. Yep. So, we are back to that. Uh, I get to equip. Yep, he'll bring it back up. He may put it back down. If he does, that buys up time. Um, yeah, he'll be putting it back down. 
He keeps playing his lands, which he's a blue deck. He definitely shouldn't. I'm assuming that he has brainstorms and things as well. So. Now here's the fun part. I will always be bigger than him now. But I will never have the ability to put up and put down in one turn. So essentially, I'm attacking him for one. Although him attacking me is doing nothing at all. Um, this is also where... Oh god, that's that's a change of plans. Um, sort of Feast and Famine. I'm not going to block this. I am going to wait... And I am going to be patient. Yep. Okay. Mm yeah, he's got no cards in hand. That means absolutely nothing to me. Just untap. And look at that one. Okay. So, I am going to play this now. We're going to attack. I want to get him into his attack phase to see if I can actually just eat. Uh, which one do I want? Because if I eat this, he may just make it again. So if I eat this, he may just make it again. That's most likely not a counter spell. Like, well, I guess odds are actually increasing as the game goes longer that it's counter spell, seeing as we haven't seen any. Although forces are worth, what, 100 something dollars online, which is absolutely ridiculous. Um. Ever want to kill the game? Make things cost too much. Get out of my sight. Alright. Oh, maybe I have to bang. Alright, and if I kill this, then he can't recreate this. I'm only losing one life per turn. I'm going to actually go after this. By the way, what I just learned is that he does not have a JIT. That would have been the easy way to, to resolve this. Although he may have a JIT and just not realized that he could have just played equipped the JIT and then moved on with life that way. Um, so yeah, we'll take the damage here. We'll just keep going one by one. Eventually I will find something either bigger than him or stronger than him. Just in the end of the day, better than him. Which is what I want. There's a Bob. Bob can't block that. Bob can't do much about that. He's got a counter spell. Okay. So at the end of the day, why didn't you just counter? I guess he didn't really care. Not a problem. Still got a bunch of turns. I got 16 turn, 15 or 16 turns before I actually have to care about this. Like before the game ends. And I know what you're thinking, he's hitting me for one, but he only has to hit or get me down to such a low of a life total. Let's go ahead and take a look now. Hey, look at that. Could have had him do it to himself. Unfortunately, it does mean that he's gaining one more life than me a turn, but I mean, there's not much else that I can do about that right now. We're a little limited. Our lingering souls and everything else are basically just kind of doing nothing. You know, I got a token that's that's keeping me in the game. I shouldn't shouldn't knock it. Uh, Night of Reliquary. There's somebody I can count on. Of course, Feast and Famine says that he can't do much. And I don't actually remember if I have Maze of Ith in this deck. And if I do, then this just shifted drastically. So, we shall see. One thing I am a little discouraged about is that I can't actually deal with that the fun way. Uh, Stoneforge Mystic. Let's see if I left what I left in. I'm assuming he does not have a counter spell right now seeing as my knight landed. Although he may have realized that it just didn't matter. Alright, there we go. If he does have a counter spell, I'm going to be like, oh man. But he does not and that one. I do expect that he's got a swords of some type. Although he just, he now gets a chance to find out the hard way what it's like to have to deal with all of this. I can next turn move the batter skull and the jit if I want. Uh, if I do that, I can bring this up high enough to kill that. 
Although I think right now I will just say so be it. Uh, we'll block here, take one counter off, force him to have to kind of deal with this. And then if he does something to this next turn, we'll put the batter skull in the jit over here and swing it. I'm assuming what will be a Jace the Mind Sculptor. That'll kill these off. Uh, he won't have enough, or he will have enough mana to bring that back to hand. Explosives at two. Buddy, did anybody ever tell you you are not fun? Well, guess what? I'm going to equip creature gains a little bit. This will stop his attack, and we're going to gain two life. All right. So let's do this. All right, first things first. Did I leave the maze of Ith? That answer is no. There is no maze of Ith. Then we get a horizon canopy and the sack to draw card, which we'll see another the other plan. There we go. Let's get some card selection in here. He doesn't need to know that we don't have a maze of Ith. All that he needs to know is that things could go possibly wrong. Uh, we have enough life that we may actually want to do something with drawing of cards. That is a Jace. Jace is a bit of a threat right now. Good news, everybody. There are swords in the deck. Yes, always. That's a bob. Um, hmm. So we take six, we discard a card. We can't stop that, but I can force him to look at cards by keeping. Well, I can take the rising canopy and then draw the bob. Oh yeah, what am I doing? So we put them back on this order, this order. Play this one, draw a card. Then we play this one. All right. And at end of turn, I can shuffle my library. Uh, do I have all of the one, two, are there's there may be some in there. Uh, let's see, three, four, so there's still one more dual land in the deck. Yeah, one more dual land in the deck. Huh. The, the stupid Savannah that I just put back on top. Yeah, this is how slow I am. If you've ever wondered, I'm extremely slow. Um, Swords the Plowshare. That's okay. That's extra life for right now. Gonna pop that back up. I'd prefer that you not. Intuition. Uh, you could go get another EE, EE for three and make me happy. What wouldn't make me happy is if you went and got three Armageddon's. Lingering Souls. Lingering Souls and Lingering Souls. No. No third Lingering Souls. Well, I can tell you now, you're getting not the Lingering Souls. Ah, uh, this game went a lot longer and did a lot more than I thought it would. There's probably a way that I could have dealt with this that I just haven't seen yet. Or that I did see and completely overlooked. Possibly the swords. And a Vindicate. Well, I don't really want to give him the Vindicate, so here, have a Lingering Souls. That's a really good card to have, got, to have gotten. Alright. There we go. I would bring this back up and put it back down, but at this point it's kind of a waste of mana. So let's see here. Yep. 
I am hoping to find what? Well, I'm hoping to find a pulse. Um, yeah, pulse would be the best thing. Pulse would allow me to pulse this, and that would get rid of the entire string. Looks like he burned them all. So, let's go ahead and grab this and fetch. I know I could be saving the fetch, but it's not really going to matter too much, and I'd rather thin out my deck as best as possible. Okay, so let's see. I'm taking six damage, so I can afford to keep one card, because otherwise I'm going to take 12 damage no matter what. And I have to find a pulse to be able to clear out all of these. So I am going to keep the wasteland and the top. And pop that one down. Uh, there's enough lands out there right now that that won't matter. So let's take a look. There is no pulse there. Uh, cancel this. We're going to get a second shuffle effect. Look what top. There is no pulse there. Uh, do we survive if we swords this? Let's see. No, we don't. Stop being an idiot, because he just equips on to stuff and swings for victory. Yeah. I could wait until he attacks and then swords whatever he shoves that on, but it... I'm at eight life right now. There's six of these. All he has to do is move one of the, or move, yeah, move a piece of equipment, and I'm boned. So that doesn't work. Look once more. There's a pulse. Uh, pulse into Liliana. I can't actually play the Liliana right now, but that will take care of the issue on that side. So, one, two, three. All of those pretty little tokens are dead. Dead. Uh, I, if I were him, I would just go looking for a counterspell. A counterspell or any flash creature. Because I'm being put into a situation where I literally can't stop him. Okay, into a brainstorm. I'll buy a sword. You can do a swords to plowshares. I'd prefer if you didn't, but I, I understand that one. Uh, basically, we just need to get this out. So we are not dead yet, somehow. Yep, untap. All right, these two go back. And they can go back like that. Liliana either hits or she doesn't. It doesn't matter either way. But if she does hit, well, it does matter either way. If she hits, I get to kill this. He brings it back up, puts it back down. Okay, nice. Sacrifice a creature. We are still dead to any flash creature, but we have to get this Jace off the table. Source the plowshares. Okay. Well, I can live with that for right now. Um, that gives me extra things there. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Yeah, I picked that back up. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that wouldn't have mattered. Uh, he does get the chance to hide it. If he finds a Stoneforge Mystic, it's basically drawing an extra card with the J. So it's like draw draw three, put back one, as opposed to draw three, put back two. Let's 
Looks like he didn't find one. What else you doing? Equipping. And what do we have on top? We have a top on top. A Mox Diamond. And a Swords. Okay. Well, I'm going to take some extra damage here. Because I'm going to keep this one. Uh, let's just go ahead and get this top down. One, two, three, four, five, six. He doesn't play days, so not a big deal there. All right, so top made it down. That made it up in the air. Pa, guess what? Wait, did he play a land as well? Oh, no, no. Okay. All right, and each player discard a card. So we now have a way to deal with that next turn. If I had done this right, I should have taken actually the diamond as well. That way I could have forced the discard and then gone from there. Still need to kill this. This is the longest match you guys have had today with me. <laughs> you can thank Rolled. I've actually seen this guy playing this deck before now that I think about it. Uh, looks like he did find the Stoneforge Mystic. So... There's the batter skull. Show me two Sabbath. You didn't put the batter skull back? Or, yeah, those are only exiled. Alright, so he did that wrong then. Or at least as far as I can tell, he did it wrong. Well, I wouldn't mind seeing an abrupt decay at this point. Lingering Souls. That's actually pretty good as well. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. I'm going to actually take these. And let's launch this up. So, enter Lingering Souls. We are going to play Bob because we can at least try and control this. I should have taken a look with Top as well. So he's got a Force of Will instead. Okay. Well, each player discard a card. So let's see. He can put that sword on one of them. I am... I'm going to flash back my Lingering Souls. Reason I'm flashing... Oh, I screwed that up. The reason I was going to flash that back was because that would allow me to basically kill Jace. Although I should be able to right now, as long as he doesn't swing this at Liliana, we should be fine. But he's probably looking for an alternative Jace, but he does not have very many cards left in his deck. That is another thing to pay attention to. Uh, Sword of Feast and Famine, issue card. That may have been why he did not go and get more. Okay. So in comes, yep. We're just going to shove one of these in its face. All right, since we did that wrong. Uh, swords of Plowshares, what does Swords get me? Swords gets me to be able to attack in but doesn't really matter too much. Although it's a lot better. Let's see how many how many forces has he used? Just one. All right. 
I guess this doesn't matter. We're going to have the uh, the other thing here trigger off. and All right. Do we want an extra card is the question. And I think that answer is yes. I think right now we do want an extra card just so that we can pump Liliana once. Like we're, we're basically just growing Lily. And I actually think, oh, I'd love to keep all three, but I can't. Um, hmm. What can I do then? I'm, I want this and I want that. I want to be able to flashback. We're going to put these two back. I'm going to keep this. Okay. Vandalian click. Not the worst. So who are you targeting? Obviously targeting me. Well, with that being the case, this doesn't matter. I can put this back in his hand. Um, this I need to be able to block with the lingering souls. Probably got another Jace in there. I am, however, gonna look first. All right, there's a Knight of the Reliquary. I will take the Knight over the other two. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we can, I can bounce that. That'll save me, that doesn't save me anything. Uh, we just let that go, because I can lift this up. Yep. All right, so night. Flashback on souls. I think we, I think we be that we are happy there. Yep, I have to get rid of this. I should have just played that instead of flashing back the souls. Although if I do that, then yeah, I, I completely die, essentially. Although, maybe I'm being an idiot. Yeah, I was being an idiot. I could have swords this and then equipped and bashed in at Jace. That would have killed Jace. I would have gone up to plus, plus enough to survive these three. Yeah, that was, I, I've been an idiot. There's no other way to put it. Um... There's no way for me to pump these higher, any higher than they are. I have to find an abrupt decay or a pulse to be able to deal with that. Once that's dealt with, then I don't have to care. Yeah, you can go ahead and do that. I don't think he realizes that that's a legendary. Legendary creatures versus Caracas, I have the winning card right here. Although if he played a Caracas, I could be in trouble. I may want to do something about that. Uh, but we're in combat right now. That's fine with me. So, where's that going? That's going to Liliana, and that's okay. Put it up. I'm smarter than this. Liliana can go to three. I know she's got she's at two. I I understand that. And you guys actually can't see my top, so that makes it a little bit awkward. I'm gonna have to find something to be able to do about that. Uh, sword goes over there. Token dies. All right. Well, that means Jace dies. 
because I can attack in with Batter Skull and Knight of the Reliquary. How many swords have been used? How many did have I exiled? Not enough swords exiled. One, two, there's probably four in his deck. Um, yeah, we're... I'm not the biggest fan of our position. And I used a Liliana? Yeah, I used a Liliana. So if he Supreme Verdict did... If he casts Supreme Verdict right now, what am I hoping to do? I don't know. Uh, that's not necessary. There's a Thought Seize, a Wasteland, and a Diamond. Okay. Well, I want the Thought Seize. I can go back in that order. All right. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. That's swing it, Jace. Yeah, I think this will be fine. We'll find out what he does. You want to give me that? Okay. So instead we get this, which lets me go equip here. One, two, three, four, five. Dark Blast. Deal. Well, that sucks. Uh, return legendary permanent. Let's take a look what we got there. I think we just lost. I am almost 100% sure that we just lost. So he rebuys the Dark Blast, he equips, he swings through at me. I think he said something. No. Uh, yeah, I think, yeah, this one should be over. Uh, we can use Liliana. And have him sacrifice a creature, but it's already lethal. Dark Blast. Interesting. Alright. Black and green. So far this sword has been the only issue and the fact that we haven't been able to find something to kill it. Uh, perhaps I should have been thinning a little bit more. Although, it gets to be kind of dangerous. Hopefully this has been a lot of fun for you guys, because I am having a ball. Oh yeah, EE. -E. I was like, what happened to my JIT? Uh, so let's see, what are we going to be doing about this then? Did he not bring back? No, he did not bring back the Dark Blast. Interesting. So, there's that one. The three cards that we have on top are not very good for us. I am going to shuffle them. Yep. This game changes pretty quickly if uh, if we can get rid of this sword. So let's see, we're going to be cutting this off. Do I have another wasteland in there? 
There are three wastelands, I believe. Yeah, three wastelands. I do not see it. My eggs out. Okay. We may end up decking him. So yeah, we should have lost there. All that he had to do was rebuy the Dark Blast, shoot that, bounce with Jace, and then swing in for three. But he did not. Ah, the number of people watching is changing. That's what's going on. Hmm. Stall, my little spirit, stall. What you got over there? Five mana. Equipping the batter skull. Okay. That's dangerous in unto itself as well. Um, if I do find a source to plowshares, then that creates an issue there. But I do not. So let's see here. I get another shuffle effect, in which case I can look. And I kind of like that idea. I don't know why I looked. I know exactly what I'm doing now. And they can just go back. And it doesn't matter their order. Uh, do you have another one? Because that would be pretty awkward. Yep, looks like he's got another click. Yeah, it's useless against me. Let's just take our look. Bitter Blossoms and Dark Confidence. Did I use both Abrupt Decays? I've used one Abrupt Decay and one Pulse. Okay. Uh, I have to put this back. I keep putting that thing back into his hand. That's the problem. Alright. So we know that it's not there. Let's go ahead and shuffle. And look again. Ugh, that is not good. Um, hmm. Cancel. Let's put that back up into his hand. Let's each player discard. Alright, so he got rid of the Jace the Mind Sculptor. I'm going to go ahead and try and equip. There's a Swords. Alright, and that should have been it last game. I'm just going to go ahead and concede here. I can't block, so... I needed the other way to be able to deal with that. Okay. Sort by name, converted mana cost. I've seen some of the cards that he's got. Uh, these would actually be pretty helpful in theory. Uh, this would actually be pretty helpful. What am I thinking? We're going to do that. These two. Uh, because of his EEs, not as much that anymore. I take that back. Uh, Bitter Blossom should be pretty good, but we're heavy on the two slot extremely heavy on the two slot but bitter blossoms very good versus jace is it the jace that i'm actually caring about i think it helps us alpha strike though so i'm actually going to keep that um i'm going to pull out two diamonds and actually i'm going to put this sword in and pull out the third diamond as well i don't know why those are in there actually they should have come out already 
Uh, let's see, let's see. These will be good versus him. Now that we're on the on the play, we'll be able to take better use of them. Another one would be pretty good. Let's pop one of those up there. It's not going to be as good. Basically, it's a, it's a way to fight off Stoneforge Mystics. Um, yeah, let's go. Yes, I'd like to play first. Eight minutes and a hand that really screams F you. Ugh. There's... If I need a second land. Oh, God. Okay, so we're, we're in pretty much the biggest mess of trouble that we could get into. Uh, at least there's a scrubland as well, so we can at least cast our things. Stoneforge Mystic. I would kill her first, but I'm going to let him get the Batter Skull. Gets the sword. Well, I'm going to go ahead and try and kill her. He's got a force. Uh, wasteland. I will play the Wasteland. Put that off to the side. Um, yeah, this I figured this would actually be Lingering Souls, to be honest with you. Oof. Well, I'm just going to get rid of the problematic card right now. Oh, uh, wait. Can't do that one. So we'll do that, then that, and might as well make it this. Okay, so there's the force. Should have left this up, that way I had access to that, but so be it. Um, we've still got one of these. I can play in... Ah, nice. Nice little job over there. Let's go for this again. Green, black, colorless. Got a second one? Nope. All right, issue card gone. Yep. So let's take a look at what's over on his side. Disenchants and bunches and bunches of other things. Uh, well, we're going to get rid of this recurring creature, BS, all that, blah, blah, blah. You know the deal. Uh, we'll do this. I'm going to get the JIT. The JIT is frightening, but it, of the things that I have, it's the least threatening. Like, the Sword of Fire and Ice may not seem all that good, but it's at least something. Yeah, I didn't think so. So that leaves him with Snapcaster, Disenchant, and... Oh, his card for turn, which was a land. Uh, might as well get the disenchant out there. So there's a free disenchant. So he's got Snapcaster in hand now. This isn't good for us because we're already two cards behind. Our deck is bigger than his. Uh, the good thing is that he's just flooding and doing absolutely nothing. Uh, there's something that can deal with Lingering Souls. Jace is the bigger threat, though, which is this card. Seeing as we've used both of our Abrupt Keys. The Keys, yeah, I'm terrible at this. Uh, so, hmm. What would have been awesome would have been, like, Armageddon. But, unfortunately, that's not a possibility anymore. You see, he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards already used. All right. So the fun times are coming. By the way, we found out that he did have a Caracas, so I was right in saying that I screwed up. Oh, God. I'm finding all of the removal. This isn't good. I can kill everything you do. Except for Fate Seal Me. If you did that, I might be screwed. 
And in this case, I, I think that he's probably got a big enough lead because, I mean, he can snap cast your force for Christ's sake. Yeah, there we go. If you're religious, that's too bad, by the way. I'm not taking anything back. So what are we thinking? What is our best option here? Well, how, how, how does the saying go? Shit just got real? Yeah, mad real. So if I were him, I would flashback both of those out of the graveyard. Hey, look at that. The reason why I would flashback both of those out of the graveyard is because out of the graveyard, or while they're in the graveyard, they're vulnerable to me. Uh, we get a Liliana. I like this idea. And you can't Snapcaster Force right now. So, each player discard. I'll get rid of that one. Um, yeah, there's the Lingering Souls. Yay! Full value. Um, so, let's see. His Intuition and Lingering Souls. I'm going to be able to one for one, card for card him there. Now I just have to find some way to deal a damage to that thing. Yep, there's the flashback on the Lingering Souls. I'm wondering if he's putting them on top or bottom. Let's see, Flooded Strand, put card on the bottom. You guys can actually see where it says bottom. I guess I'll pull this out a little bit, that way you guys can kind of see what's going on. In fact, hold on, I'm gonna pause this and resize. All right, that should be a little bit better. You guys can now see everything. Um, unfortunately, it does cut down on the amount of area that we have to play in. Shrink, won't shrink. Uh, so beginning of combat, coming into my turn, okay. That's pretty nice. Um, I am gonna get rid of this. Guess what? All right. So what did he give? He gave Brainstorm the ability. All right, Brainstorm got the ability for flashback. Pretty good option there. He can end it to, oh, he's gonna opt to brainstorm now. I should have done it with this, that would have left me this up, that way I could have hit anything if need be, but unfortunately I did not. So that's that's a mistake on my part. Um, and I'm looking at this and what I'm really paying attention to is if I get to ultimate Liliana, how on earth do I get this to go? And right now it looks like I split all the white cards and leave him the black cards plus Jace, although I think he's gonna get to go, no, I'm gonna get to go just the turn before. Yeah, just before it. Inquisition, yeah, that's, that's okay. I'm reloading. So, each player discard. I'm going to draw a card. Hopefully I can get a creature. Nope. I was hoping for a creature. Uh, let's see. What did he do? Jace. Top of library. I think that's what he's hiding is the, are the creatures. So I have this turn and one more beyond it. Uh, that is not a creature that would do it. Although I could draw, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Sophie, Sword of Fire and Ice. So, we're going to separate your stuff. Let's see here. Jace goes to the other side. as well as Swamp. I don't want to give him white sources, 
or really blue sources, but I think this should like this should entice enough. I mean, we get two lands, which doesn't really hurt him, but it at least should frighten him. All right. So he gets rid of all of his lands. And I have to draw Sword of Fire and Ice right here, right now. Put it to the bottom. Wasteland. Well, your Jace is going to die. You do it, your Jace dies. You will end the game with two permanents in hand. All right. There goes my library. Wasteland. Now the fun part. We kill that one. <laughs> we kill this one. And we ding him for two. Give him a smiley face. And a good game. All right. So that was this match, uh, unfortunate mole there. Can't draw anything. <laughs> there we go, that's what I was looking for. Yeah, we, we had to get sword just simply because of where things were. Uh, I am gonna jump in this game. I'm gonna save real quick and jump in this one. I will see you all in just a little bit. So yeah, that'll be the last one for the day. I figure a bunch of 10 minute games, this hour long match. And that should be enough. All right, I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.